Hello friends, my name is Jenny Torres Sanchez and I am so excited to be reading with lots of love to you today. Rocio had a new home, but she really missed her other home, the little house where she used to live with Abuela, Tia Rosa, and her cousins. She missed Abuela's small grocery store where her grandmother sold fresh fruits and vegetables, pan dulce, and ice pops made of watermelon, mango, and coconut cream. Rocio used to visit Abuela's store every day. Abuela always called out, Hola, mi amor. Her voice sounded like a faraway flu. Sometimes Rocio closed her eyes and pretended she was back at Abuela's store. The smell of spicy peppers and burnt sugar danced in her nose and Abuela's gentle voice played in her ears. She could hear too the soft rustling of piñatas that hung from the ceiling. Rocio missed those piñatas that Abuela made herself, how they swayed and whispered every time she walked into the store. And she missed the sweet treats made from marmalade, sweet milk, and fruit that spilled from them at celebrations. If only she had asked Abuela to make her a piñata to decorate her new room in the United States. Rocio missed many other things too. The buñuelos drizzled with honey that Abuela made for everyone and the extra sweet coffee that Abuela made just for her. She missed Abuela's warm tortillas and the way they smelled sweet and fresh like the damp earth after a soft rain. She missed the pretty song of her language. She missed gazing at the blue-black night sprinkled with stars with Abuela at bedtime. Most of all, she missed Abuela. Rocio looked up at the nighttime sky from the window of her new house. It was full of stars too. Rocio searched for the brightest star and made a wish. In the morning, Rocio woke to Mama, Papa, her brother, and her sister singing Las Mañanitas. Rocio smiled as they sang about the beauty of the morning she was born. Then Mama pointed to a box and said, you got a package in the mail this morning. Rocio jumped out of bed and ran to it. She recognized Abuela's crooked handwriting right away. Con mucho amor, with lots of love. Inside was a dazzling star made of bright ruffled paper. Shiny streamers hung from its pointed tips. Rocio took it out and her eyes filled with tears. Beneath it, she noticed a smaller package, a cloth towel stitched with Rocio's name. Rocio closed her eyes and held it to her cheek. She smelled a sweet, earthy smell. Inside were tortillas perfectly shaped by Abuela's gentle hands. Then she noticed one last gift, a picture of Abuela, Tia, and her cousins holding a banner in front of Abuela's grocery store. Feliz cumpleaños, Rocio. Rocio kissed the picture and thought of the star she had wished on last night. Abuela had plucked it from the sky and sent it to her. That night, the piñata hung above Rocio's bed. The picture sat on Rocio's nightstand and Rocio blew Abuela a good night kiss. She watched as it traveled out her window, through the night sky, has so many stars to where it landed back home on Abuela's cheek with lots of love.